Hey everyone, welcome back. In this Jira beginners tutorial, I'm going to talk about how to clone issues in Jira and a little bit detail about the cloning, what will be cloned, what won't be cloned, etc. So cloning issue in Jira, why exactly it is very helpful. Now, say for example, you want to create a lot of similar issue types, right? Wherein you have to go and update very few little details here and there, then cloning becomes really helpful, okay? And you can clone basically any issue type. So for example, I go to the Epic, all right? So here's the payment functionality. I want to create multiple epics and I just want to clone a lot of details that are there existent in a particular issue so I can go up in the detail and in the right hand side you will see the actions right the ellipses here and you will see the clone option here now there are many multiple options there but then we are interested in clone so if I click on this clone you will see that the summary comes up with the clone in front all right and what will be included right so you want to include attachments links etc whether you want to include you can go ahead and check these boxes and if you don't want to include the attachments that are there as part of this particular epic or links that are part of this particular epic you can uncheck those okay so say for example i want to uncheck these two and then click on clone so you'll see the clone function or clone process will start and once the cloning is complete you will see that the cloned issue will be listed right so basically if i go and see the backlog here and i toggle this show epic panel okay because i clone the epic you will see that this was the original epic and then this is the new cloned epic that has been cloned right which will have this clone word before the description but it, during the cloning you can go ahead and update all right you can change any of the details for example let's go to this particular task all right and if I open the task details I can again go to the ellipsis and you'll see clone option now I am cloning the task RIA2 at the moment if I go ahead and click on clone it should clone this particular task and here I can include subtask links etc if I want to and if I don't want to include I can ignore those and during the clone process as well I can change the summary this is clone task okay i can click clone and you'll see cloning process started and once the cloning process will complete let me open the detail of this particular issue type so here you will see that if i go ahead and below here you will see subtask and you'll see the linked issues right so is cloned by now ria6 this is a clone task this is what we cloned and it is basically cloned by this particular ria2 and the linking has been automatically done in this particular case now we have seen that you can go ahead and clone the attachments for example this particular issue type has this task has some attachments some links that were that were there you can go ahead and clone there are some details that you cannot clone from a issue type which are very specific to that particular issue for example on this particular issue you will see that there are there were comments right this is on track looks good these comments won't get tracked no time tracking detail for example this particular issue has this time tracking four hour log the new one that was cloned should not have it right because this time tracking comments issue history is very specific to that particular issue and it is not necessarily true that you are having the exact same comment history and other time tracking detail for the other you are doing cloning to ease your work in terms of rewriting and recreating or refilling all of those fields right so if i go to this particular ria6 issue type it should not have any of the comments and the time tracking you'll see time tracking no time log and there are no comments that have been cloned right so history time tracking comments anything specific to a particular issue won't get cloned but then there are certain things for example attachments if there is an attachment on a particular issue type is if there are links that are associated on a particular issue type you want to clone it you have a choice to tick that particular box and clone those details in a new cloned issue and you can basically clone any issue type right so for example task story subtask any of the issue type that you want to clone you can go ahead and straight away clone and the process is absolutely similar so you can go ahead and for example this subtask right i can go ahead and open the subtask and then write an ellipsis and I can go ahead and clone, right? So doesn't matter what the issue type is, whether it's epic, story, subtask or any other custom task, you'll have the similar process for cloning the details of a particular issue. So that's all for this video. In the next one, I'll cover some more details on Jira Basic. Thank you. See you in the next one.